In this video, I'm quickly going to show how to set up KDB on BeagleBone Black revision C. So let's start by connecting the cable that I have, TTL to USB, into my computer. When I connect it, then I will see the new product right here. And I will be expected to have a device on my host called USB zero, right? Also, I can see like in LCSB, this nice line here. Great. So now I'm going to power up my board. You can't see it, but I have like a blue light here. And I'm going to connect with it to the terminal. So I'm going to use PicoCon. And terminal is ready. However, I see things that don't make much sense. So I'm going to increase this baud rate. Because I know that the baud rate is 115, 200. So let's go and control a U, control a U, you can see the baud rate increasing and now I'm supposed to see things that make sense. Alright, so I see some kernel messages here. Now I have my login prompt and what I can see here is that the terminal where I had my console is dev ttys0. So as you could see in our tutorials when I connected my PC to a laptop both x86 with a serial cable, we could see that in order to enable KDB, I need to echo the parameter into sys module KDDB over console, parameters KDDB over console. So this is actually a good place to see whether my target even supports KDB, whether it currently exists. So sometimes it will support it as a loadable kernel module and you will need to mode probe or ins mode um, KGDB OC, that's KGDB over console, and to see if what you currently have actually supported, if it's inserted, if it was built in with a kernel, what you want to do is actually have a look at sys module KGDB over console, and if this exists, then you're like in a good place, okay? So let's see what it says before, maybe somebody already configured it, so parameters and KGDB over console, and nobody configured it. So what I'm going to do is set my device, I'm going to echo it, TTY F0 into it. I could also provide the baud rate, the stop bits and the other parameter. Let's see what they are in my current device. So I need to give it either dash F or because it's my current TTY I can give it without and those of you who know more BeagleBone than this particular one is actually TTY 0 so there are ways to map name of TTYs you can do it in several ways for example in Ubuntu with the device tree and so on I'm not going to get into it just know that the parameter came from this guy and the version that we're currently seeing just for your information is the default version that came with this board that is this one and we can see also that it's like a Debian, okay? So if I look like at the, the kernel log, I would actually see these things as well, okay? So this is like what I have here. Let's have a quick look at how I actually use KDB with it. So let's see what is the current parameter, it's TTY0. And just like before, I would do echo G into proc sysrq trigger and we can see that we're here and like the process the current process was bash I can see what is the backtrace I can for example examine the memory so this is kernel 4 dot something so I'm expecting to see the print k buffer that in older kernel was under print k, k uh, buff I think it's going to be under log buff and we can indeed see that we have something here so I could set breakpoint, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, it says catastrophic error detected. Why it got, it wasn't so happy with uh, the backtraces here, but this is definitely not our problem. Another kernel that is properly configured would not run into it, and we're not going to give too much attention on it, okay? So I'm going to do your go. These are like the kind of things you can like encounter, and that's like what we had. Just for the sake of completion, 
I want to also show you what will happen if, for example, you want to go and uh, connect another serial to the serial gadget, the gadget serial port that you have. So that's what I'm going to do right now. This is going to be my hosts buffer. And we can see that something else has been connected, this time at TTY ACM0, okay? So I'm going to go and I'm going to use PicoCom on it. Now, baud rate is again, I will need to increase it, okay? So I'm going to do this. And so I have the get TTY, probably it asked me like for the login. And I'm logging in here, and you can see that my device is dev TTY GS0. Since this is a gadget TTY, I cannot use KDB with it. If somebody is interested, I will explain you what are the differences. If not, you can Google it, you can look at the kernel documentation for it. But I can, for example, go ahead and, for example, I don't know, like use it, like use the terminal. If I go from one terminal to another, TTY gadget serial zero, then I will see it, okay? So this is also what you, this gadget serial, for example, in the default usage of the installed Debian is going to actually be exported also like to my host as a storage device and I can move files to it, but I will not do it now. So that covers our KDB and serial terminal demonstration on the BeagleBone block. So what I'm going to do now is I connected another board that has a um, Yocto project on it actually. So let's see how I put it. Here it is configured a little bit different. Here you will see that the serial is TTY 0 and here we did not enable the port for the gadget, so you will not see on your host TTY ACM0. The reason I'm saying these things is that maybe you play around with it and you can't figure out like why you don't get things like as you expected, like why it doesn't show you like as a storage device or something like this. So we can see here that we have the Yocto project preference distro, it's no longer Debian, okay? And let's see this, it's 4.12.12. Um, I think it was built on one of the courses I did in Germany in 2018. So if you attended this, hi. And uh, so here goes. So now what I'm going to do is first, like before, see what is the TTY. I'm going to check out the command line. Here, this was also set. And I'm going to echo TTY 0 into sys module kdb over console parameters kdb over console so i'm now going to put a breakpoint by the way the moment i register like a debugger if i have an oops then the debugger uh, will be called okay just for your information so i invoke the debugger here with echo g into it into proc sysrq trigger and now I can see that bash is like the current process. And once again, I can go and, for example, look at the log like before. And this time, because the kernel is properly configured, and there is no bug in it, like in the previous board that I showed earlier, then I can go ahead and, for example, put a new breakpoint, like in do exit. So let's have a look. Let's have a nice play. I'm going to continue here. And I'm going to, for example, sleep three. So when sleep will finish, I'm expecting the debugger to be invoked. And there it is. So I can see that the current process is this guy, which is the true. I can see that the backtrace, we see all the unwind stack trace. I mean, it shows more than what I would want. Okay, these are like the, these are like the upper things, but it's okay because what I really care about is what happened here so here we could see that we have a do exit and this is like the call stack and i can examine it and that's it so i'm going to remove it and continue 
and I will also exit it and by this we showed several configurations of KGTB and KDB over several hardware uh, types and I hope this was helpful so have a good one